It's not new information that the planet is in crisis. Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, we have put enough greenhouse gases into the air to raise the Earth's temperature by one degree Celsius. Which doesn't sound like much, but that one degree has been enough to make everything frozen on Earth start to melt. If that temperature increase reaches two degrees, it would start an unstoppable process which could result in the raising of the sea level by up to nine meters. Many coastal cities would be underwater, including much of New York City and the iconic Statue of Liberty. But before the sea rises enough to flood her, there's an excellent chance that she could get taken out by extreme weather. Lady Liberty endured extreme forces of nature when Superstorm Sandy hit in October 2012, withstanding gusts of wind up to 100 miles an hour. The storm caused $77 million of damage and the landmark wasn't open to the public for about a year afterwards. The statue has been built to withstand winds of up to 150 miles an hour. In 2017, Hurricane Irma approached Puerto Rico and Florida with maximum wind speeds of 185 miles an hour, making it one of the strongest hurricanes ever recorded in the Atlantic. If a weather system like Irma ever comes to New York, it's safe to say that the Statue of Liberty wouldn't stand a chance. Our beacon of freedom and liberty isn't the only cultural landmark in trouble. The famous Moai of Easter Island are at risk as well. Higher waves caused by stronger storms as a result of the changing climate are eroding the platforms that have supported the stonework watchmen for more than 500 years. Without a solid base to stand on, these iconic statues may crumble, tip over, or be washed out to sea sooner than anyone is ready for. And historic cities like Venice, famous for its canals, will no doubt be washed away if sea levels continue to rise. Floods are happening more frequently along the city's canals, with residents having to walk on wooden planks to stay above the floodwaters in large parts of the city about four or five times a year. The change in climate has brought on an unexpected phenomenon in the animal kingdom. As the boundaries of animal habitats change, they're finding themselves to be living amongst other animals they once did not. In 2006, a hunter in the Canadian Arctic shot a unique looking bear that he had never seen before. DNA testing showed that it was genetically half polar bear, half grizzly. Thus the newfound existence of growler bears. And growler bears aren't the only hybrid out there. The domains of wolves and coyotes started to overlap and the kai wolf appeared. The kai wolf can stealthily live in human suburbs like a coyote, but can take down a deer like a wolf. A combination of coyote stealth and wolf robustness has helped it adapt to a rapidly changing landscape. But it's not only just what's here on Earth that is affected by climate change. The effects of our carbon addiction can be felt at the edge of space. In the highest reaches of our atmosphere, carbon dioxide can actually have a cooling effect. Cooling the upper atmosphere causes it to contract, exerting less drag on satellites. Even though the air density at these altitudes is only about a billionth of what it is at the Earth's surface, it still provides sufficient drag to slow down objects in the low Earth orbit, causing their eventual re-entry. As the atmospheric density in the thermosphere decreases, debris can remain in orbit up to 25% longer. Space surveillance networks estimate that there are some 29,000 pieces of debris that are 10 centimeters in diameter or larger in orbit. A fleck of paint caused this damage to a window, so imagine a piece of debris the size of your hand coming into contact with one of our many useful satellites at a faster rate of travel than that fleck of paint. It could cause major disruptions in communication, GPS services, weather tracking, and advancements in space exploration. The faster these debris travel, the more collisions that will happen. The more collisions that take place, the more debris there will be. If this trend continues, it could create a physically impassable barrier that could make it impossible to continue space exploration for generations to come. If you like this video, follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube and come back soon for some more Factables.